Carnival just announced a brand new plan to return to sailing, and it actually seems plausible. I'm Tanner from Cruisely.com, and if you know anything about cruising, you know that in the past few months, cruise lines have suspended sailings. Now, at the time, they planned to get back to sailing in mid-April, but all cruise lines have extended their return dates several times. First it was April, then it was May, then it was June, and now some are even coming back in early July. Carnival has now taken a slightly different approach, and to us, it seems like it actually might work. The line now says it plans to return in a limited capacity beginning August 1st, utilizing a phase-in approach to return to sailing. In a press release, Carnival, which had just recently extended its pause in sailing until late June, said it will now start sailing in August from just three ports, Galveston, Miami, and Port Canaveral. In total, just eight ships will be back in service starting on August 1st. The 19 other ships in Carnival's fleet, they won't return until September 1st at the earliest. Carnival laid out exactly which ships will sail and which will be canceled following the new schedule. So all North American cruises from June 27th to July 31st will be canceled. Beginning August 1st, Carnival will resume cruises on the following ships. Out of Galveston, you'll have the Carnival Dream, the Fascination, and the Vista. Out of Miami, you'll have the Carnival Horizon, the Magic, and the Sensation. And out of Port Canaveral, you'll have the Carnival Breeze and the Carnival Elation sailing. All other North American and Australian cruises would be canceled through August 31st. Now, this move is a major announcement, but it may not be a surprise to some cruisers. In the last few days, many noticed that Carnival's website showed no sailings available in June or July. As noted on Cruisely.com a few weeks ago, bookings were also unavailable in May and June, right before Carnival officially announced its last extension of suspended cruises. As well, you might have heard how the current return dates for cruise lines contradict the CDC's no sale order. That order, which was modified in April and states that cruise lines can't operate in U.S. waters until one of the following three things happen. First, the expiration of the Secretary of Health and Human Services declaration that COVID-19 constitutes a public health emergency. Second, the CDC director rescinds or modifies the order based on specific public health or other considerations and third, 100 days from the date of publication in the Federal Register. The only concrete date among those three options is the 100 days from publication in the Federal Register. That would be July 24th, although this order can be extended. Still, as of now, most cruise lines have tentative plans to return before that date. That might be possible if the COVID-19 outbreak quickly resolves and the CDC rescinds its order, However, that seems unlikely at this point. There are still millions of COVID-19 cases out there, and if it ever does finally resolve, it seems like it's going to take months at least. That's why it seems like other cruise lines will announce future extensions of their return to service plans. So is this August 1st phase-in plan from Carnival actually likely to happen? While cruise lines have continued to extend their return to sale dates, in our opinion, this is the first time that an announced date actually seems plausible. To be sure, no one, including myself, can say for sure when cruises will definitely return to sailing. With this pandemic, the world is in uncharted territory. No one knows for sure what's going to happen going forward. However, as I've explained in another video and on Cruisely.com, my best estimate is that cruises will start back sailing in August at the earliest. This is based not just on the CDC's no sale order, but also the slow recovery time seen in other countries battling the coronavirus. Furthermore, this is the first plan we've seen from a cruise line to have this phased in approach. This sort of return seems much more plausible to work to me. And we'd expect more cruise lines to actually announce similar plans to Carnival's new plan. Cruising will look very different when it does return. And with this phase in approach, it's easier logistically to implement new procedures for boarding and passenger health on a smaller number of ships compared to having to determine what works for the entire fleet at once. Fewer ships sailing could also make it easier to respond to any virus scares more quickly and make it easier to crew the ship after many crew members have returned home. 
Put simply, it should be simpler to gradually move back to sailing instead of trying to rush all the ships in a fleet back into service at once. Now, only time will tell if Carnival is actually able to start sailing again come August 1st. If the cruise line were to sail on that date, it would make a 140-day suspension of its service in the wake of the COVID-19 crisis.